Interactive and I am here today to do a Zillow 3D home tour and to do the update to my video how to shoot Zillow 3D home tours like a pro. I did the video in 2020. I'm doing it again this year to talk to you about some of the updates to the uh, tour uh, software and also I've got a new monopod that I just am busting out for the first time. It's the Bushman Monopod Pro. It is going to be hopefully replacing my, uh, well maybe, we'll see, upgrading my Bushman Claremont V2, which has been a total workhorse, just a total beast for the last couple years. And, uh, but I'm gonna give it a swing today, give it a try here in the field. Of course, it opens up just like the other monopods and um, with these nice little screws. And what makes this monopod really special is that you can put the weights in a lot of different places. So when you're doing a Zillow 3D home tour, I really think it's important that you have a lot of weight in the center column. So I'll probably grab some weights off of that old one and put them here, maybe put them on underneath or on the sides. We have threads on around this entire monopod, which makes it nice. I never put weight here on the ends, even though you can thread there. And I'll tell you why. And that is because it breaks down this mechanism and this screw right here. So just don't even go there. You don't want to do that. Uh, and otherwise, all of this uh, has you know, a lot of similarities to the original version or to the second version. And, you know, what you want to see is that when you have it, you know, wobble or do anything like that, that it, it corrects itself. It, it actually starts to uh, balance itself right away because with wind and with uh, what, even if you're walking on an uneven floor, um, sometimes those kinds of things can take your camera off of level. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the app, and the first thing you're going to want to do is get connected. Uh, you'll make sure that you've got a Wi-Fi connection between your camera and the app, and then you're going to choose floor plan and virtual tour if you want to make a floor plan, and you'll need to use a marker in order for that to be successful, or you can choose just to make a virtual tour. Uh, in this example, we are using a 360 camera, and also I want to point out that what's awesome about the app is now we can create floor plans no matter where we are in the U.S. And with the assistance of AI, those floor plans will come back in one to two days. So uh, let's get started. Hey guys, real quick, before you get started in your tour, one of the first things you have to do if you're going to make a floor plan is that you're going to have to use a floor plan marker. So this is the floor plan marker that I got from Zillow. Uh, they will send one to you. You can order one from the app. You can order one from the link in the video. And also, if you don't have one of these, don't even worry. It's literally like just a little QR code, but you can use even a blank piece of paper as long as it's eight and a half by 11, which is regular printer paper. And you can bring that with you or grab that from one of the flyers that the realtors have, flip that over, put it on the ground, and you can place that between one and a half and three feet away from the base of your monopod in order to create that marker. Now, they get, they're going to need that in the system in order to calibrate the actual size of the room. So the geometry is based off of that floor plan calculation. So make sure you put that in there so it can calibrate and don't forget to go to the link and get one of these for free before you get started. Hi guys. Okay. So now we are inside the app. You've done your floor plan calibration, which is one and a half to three feet away from the base of the monopod. And now you are going to be on a roll making these three sixties in each of the rooms. Uh, try not to do more than three per room and certainly try to name them, uh, something that is unique, um, after more than a couple of uh, scans, because you will, uh, thank yourself later when you're, you're in the, um, back end trying to edit them. It'll just help things a lot. Uh, another thing is no, under no circumstances should you change the height of the monopod at all, or it will totally wreck uh, the floor plan. So uh, do not do that. And also save your outside shooting for last because you're more likely to have an accident outside um, when you have a harsh surface. And I'm speaking from experience. So that's, um, that's a hot tip. All right, let's take a look at what happens when you get home to upload. So this takes you to their Google Doc page where you can order this. So I would definitely do this if you don't have one yet and you can get one of those very cool looking uh, QR code markers. And if we are going to finish uploading this, now you can see 
Because I'm on Wi-Fi, you can see all of these panos starting to upload and they will be changing from blue to green when they're finished. And that's floor two. Here's floor one. And of course, I want to say thank you again to Eileen Townsend at Compass, who was the realtor on this property, and also to Nurture Source, who has done such an amazing job of renovating it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, in this case, I am going to uh, keep private, which will build the tour, but it won't publish it automatically. Um, that is because we don't want to show it right away. We want to edit it first. So let's go back into our other video and we'll wrap this up. And we've just finished our Zillow 3D home tour. If you are at the property, you are going to need to hit finish, but unless you have a cellular connection, you're not gonna be able to upload. Now, I have done this on my phone for that very reason, instead of doing it on an iPad in the past because I had a realtor who was urgently trying to get their tour up and so we shot it on the cell phone and then uploaded it right away. And I was able to edit that tour within 15 minutes. So that is one of the benefits of doing it on a device with cellular, or you can toggle to your iPad. I did it on the iPad today only because it's a slightly bigger screen and also because I'm using my camera to record. So if this is something that you're gonna be doing regularly, I recommend that you get comfortable with either using your cell phone, your iPhone, or getting an iPad uh, so that you can do the recording or do the capture there. Now, if you hit finish, once you are on cellular, it will process to the cloud. It takes about 15 minutes for you to have access to your tour. There are a couple of super important tips that you are going to need to do before you upload. And that is make sure that if you didn't, so if you didn't keep your um, camera, now this is very important. If you keep your camera so that you can see the readout, you're gonna to wanna to see this dial and this readout here, because then whatever direction you are pointing, that is going to be the frame, the thumbnail frame, and the start of your image in the tour. And so if you don't wanna to have to go back through and then redo those so that it's facing the right way, make sure that when you're taking your shots, you're facing your camera so that this outside lens is actually facing the subject that you want to have featured. Now, you can always fix it later before you upload, but once you upload, you cannot change that thumbnail image. And I know that a lot of people don't like that, but that is true. Now, here is the other huge update, which I think is very important. In the past, you were uh, sort of locked in once you uploaded your tour, you weren't able to make any changes. Um, that has changed so that now you can actually go back into a tour that already exists and add a panorama to it. So they have actually alleviated a pain point that was very big and now they have an update to it, which I think is totally awesome. Now the takeaways from me for today, obviously I've shot these tours with the Ricoh Theta Z1 like hundreds of times, so it was no big deal. This uh, monopod, even with just the single weight, this is the um, Bushman Monopod Pro. Um, I really enjoyed shooting with it. So for sure, for a pro 360 shooter, you're gonna wanna use the Bushman Monopod and uh, preferably the pro version. If you're trying to do this super DIY, uh, you should probably go back and look at my original video from 2020 where I show you how to do it with a cell phone. And um, you can follow those instructions, the iPad, the app, or sorry, the app has changed. So you're gonna update to the latest version and it will walk you through the new steps. And I know that the interface looks a little bit different, but I think that you'll be able to get the hang of it. Um, another tip, um, is that the other thing is that is a question that comes up and some of you might be wondering about this when you're in the app they're asking about is the floor below grade what does grade mean well grade means below ground level and that means that sometimes that is not counted in the gla the gross livable area so if you are using this to generate floor plans just know that it is important to note if the floor is above ground and is therefore counted in that livable space um, 
just a tip and sometimes homes are on slopes so you should keep that in mind also uh, but typically like a home like this which is built on a hillside uh, it is still above grade because it is, it is not completely underneath like a basement or something that is fully underground uh, and has doors doors to the outside and all of that so okay um, I think that's it for today if you like this video please subscribe I try to help people with how-to videos with other videos for um, just general thoughts about our industry and uh, I am a big fan of the Zillow 3d home tour I have to say I've been using it for a few years now and I have countless screenshots of the homes that I've done with the Zillow 3D Home Tour, even when agents hate it. Even when they hate it, they will say, you know what, we got the boost and our home was showing that it was going to sell 97% faster than the other homes in the area. So I do think there is validity to it. I think that the fact that Zillow sends an email um, to everybody who has the search criteria that this home matches um, and also a special email because you did their tour, I think because of that, uh, you cannot beat the marketing value. So don't undercharge for it, even though it's free, it's a great service. And I think that it does wonders for the listings. And that's all she wrote. Thanks guys, and hope to see you soon. Remember to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.